Come on, Ellis. Every single thing you told me was a lie. Ten only westerns worth watching. According to Quentin Tarantino, Quentin Tarantino has this knack for picking out the coolest movies ever made. Well, he's done it again, this time with westerns. Number 10, The Mule, 2018. Yeah, I know I was warned. I went AWOL anyway, so. Directed by and starring Clint Eastwood, The Mule is a fascinating film that delves into the life of Earl Stone, an elderly World War II veteran who finds himself entangled in the dangerous world of drug smuggling. The movie is based on the true story of Leo Sharp, an octogenarian horticulturalist who became a drug courier for the Sonola Cartel in the 1980s. Eastwood playing Earl Stone delivers a captivating performance as a man trying to make ends meet while grappling with his past mistakes. The plot centers around Earl, a broke and lonely man who stumbles upon an opportunity to make some quick money by transporting drugs across state lines. Despite his initial reluctance, Earl's desperate financial situation pushes him to accept the job, and he quickly becomes successful at it. His unexpected proficiency in the drug trade draws the attention of both the cartel and the DEA, leading to a tense and moral complex narrative. One of the most compelling aspects of The Mule is how it echoes the themes and characters of classic spaghetti westerns. Eastwood's Earl is a morally grey hero, reminiscent of the characters he famously portrayed in the 1960s and 70s. Just like those iconic western protagonists, Earl is caught between right and wrong, navigating a world where the lines between the two are often blurred. The film's setting, with its vast, open landscapes and moments of quiet tension, further reinforces this connection to the Western genre. The Mule also stands out for its box office performance. It achieved the third highest opening of Eastwood's career, which is quite impressive considering his long and storied history in Hollywood. Critics praise the film for Eastwood's strong performance and his ability to craft a compelling story that balances action with deep emotional and moral questions. Although some noted issues with the film's pacing, the overall reception was positive, cementing The Mule as a worthwhile watch for fans of Eastwood and a neo-western genre alike. But hold on, the next one is a real standout in the genre. Number 9. El Camino, a Breaking Bad movie, 2019. Sorry, kid, that's the one thing you can never do. I'm not sure I should stick around town. Well, that's a start. The film picks up right where the series final left off, following Jesse Pinkman's intense and desperate escape from captivity. For fans of the show, this movie is an absolute must-watch, but it also stands alone as a compelling neo-western that pays homage to classic western motifs. The plot centers on Jesse, played by Aaron Paul, as he struggles to find freedom and redemption after the chaotic events of the Breaking Bad finale. He's on the run from the law and haunted by his past, trying to gather enough money to start a new life. Along the way, Jesse seeks revenge and closure, making for a gripping and emotional journey. The film does a fantastic job of tying up loose ends and providing a satisfying conclusion to Jesse's story. Vince Gilligan, the show's creator, was heavily inspired by Sergio Leone and other Western legends. He wanted to shoot the movie in CinemaScope and used the good, the bad, and the ugly as a reference for some of the action scenes. This influence is evident throughout the film, from its sweeping landscapes to the intense, high-stakes confrontations that are reminiscent of old-school Western standoffs. For Breaking Bad fans, El Camino is like a love letter to the series. It brings back familiar faces and revisits key locations, all while maintaining the show's gritty, tension-filled atmosphere. But even if you haven't seen Breaking Bad, the movie stands on its own as a neo-western with a compelling narrative and rich character development. Jesse's transformation from a trapped, broken man to someone who takes control of his destiny is both powerful and poignant. El Camino extends beyond just being a follow-up to a popular TV show. 
It's a great example of how neo-westerns can blend modern storytelling with classic genre elements. The film's use of western tropes, like the lone anti-hero and the quest for redemption, helps to bridge the gap between traditional westerns and contemporary cinema. This makes it a standout in the neo-western genre, appealing to both fans of the original series and newcomers alike. Speaking of must-see films, you won't want to miss this next pick. Number 8. The Three Burials of Melchiades Estrada 2005 Directed by and starring Tommy Lee Jones, The Three Burials of Melchiades Estrada is a gripping neo-western that takes you on a journey through the harsh landscapes of Texas and Mexico. The film's plot is both haunting and compelling. It follows the story of Pete Perkins, played by Jones, a local ranch foreman who kidnaps a border patrolman, Mike Norton. After discovering that Norton is responsible for the death of his best friend, Melchiades Estrada, Pete's mission is to dig up Melchiades' body and transport it to his hometown in Mexico for a proper burial, fulfilling a promise he made to his friend. The movie kicks off with a sense of urgency and raw emotion as Pete seeks justice and closure. The journey is not just a physical one across rugged terrains, but also a deep dive into the moral complexities and grey areas that define human relationships and justice. Pete's quest for redemption and his unwavering determination to honour his friend's last wish provides a powerful narrative core. The relationship between Pete and Mike, initially adversarial, evolves as they confront their inner demons and the harsh realities of their actions. One of the standout aspects of the three burials of Melchiades Estrada is its exploration of moral ambiguity. There are no clear-cut heroes or villains here. Instead, the film delves into the complexities of human nature, showing how grief, guilt, and redemption can drive people to extraordinary lengths. Pete is a flawed but deeply principled character, driven by a sense of loyalty and justice that transcends legal boundaries. Mike, on the other hand, is initially portrayed as a callous antagonist, but his journey with Pete forces him to confront his moral failings and seek redemption. Tommy Lee Jones not only shines in his role as Pete, but also demonstrates his prowess as a director. The film's stark and beautiful cinematography captures the desolate yet captivating landscapes emphasizing the isolation and harshness of the environment that mirrors the internal struggles of the characters. The narrative pacing, interspersed with flashbacks, gradually unravels the backstory, adding depth and emotional weight to the characters' motivations. Critically, The Three Burials of Melchiades Estrada was well-received, earning several awards and nominations. It premiered at the Cannes Film Festival, where it won the Best Actor Award for Tommy Lee Jones and the Best Screenplay Award for Guillermo Arriaga. These accolades are a testament to the film's strong storytelling, compelling performances, and ability to tackle complex themes with nuance and sensitivity. The Three Burials of Melchiades Estrada is a must-watch for anyone who appreciates a well-crafted neo-western that delves deep into the human condition. It's a powerful story about friendship, loyalty, and the quest for redemption, all set against the backdrop of a harsh and unforgiving landscape. Whether you're a fan of classic westerns or modern dramas, this film offers a rich and rewarding experience that stays with you long after the credits roll. Now, if you thought that was interesting, wait until you hear about this one. Number 7. Mud. 2012. A reminder, don't get bit. Mud, directed by Jeff Nichols and starring Matthew McConaughey, is one of those films that sticks with you long after you've seen it. The story revolves around Mud, a mysterious drifter with a past as murky as the Mississippi River. Played brilliantly by McConaughey, Mud befriends two teenage boys, Ellis and Neckbone, who discover him hiding out on a small island in the river. Mud is on the run, trying to reunite with his true love, Juniper, played by Reese Witherspoon, while avoiding a group of vigilantes and the law. Girlfriend. Juniper. She hot? 
The film's plot is both simple and profound. Mud convinces the boys to help him repair an old boat stuck in the trees. Yes, a boat in a tree so he can use it to escape with Juniper. As the boys assist Mud, they learn about love, loyalty and the complexities of adulthood. It's a coming-of-age story wrapped in a neo-Western package, full of suspense, adventure, and heartfelt moments. One of the most interesting aspects of Mud is how it embraces and subverts classic Western tropes. Mud himself is the quintessential anti-hero, a loner with a checkered past who operates outside the law. The film's setting, rural Arkansas, feels like a modern frontier with its untamed landscapes and sense of isolation. Mud's relationship with the boys, particularly Ellis, is reminiscent of mentor-mentee dynamics seen in many westerns, where the older, wiser character imparts life lessons to the younger, more impressionable one. This film came at a crucial point in McConaughey's career, marking a significant turn towards more serious and complex roles. Before Mud, McConaughey was often typecast in romantic comedies and lighter fare. However, his performance in Mud is a masterclass in subtlety and depth, showcasing his ability to convey a wide range of emotions from vulnerability and desperation to determination and hope. This role, along with his parts in The Lincoln Lawyer and Dallas Buyers Club, signaled the beginning of the McConaissance a period of critical acclaim and resurgence for the actor. Mudd was met with widespread critical acclaim. Critics praised it for its strong performances, particularly McConaughey's, as well as its beautifully shot cinematography and Nicholas's deft direction. The film was celebrated for its authentic portrayal of Southern life and its ability to blend elements of different genres seamlessly. It performed well at the box office earning enough to be considered a financial success, especially for an indie film of its nature. Overall, Mud is more than just a film. It's an experience. It takes you on a journey through the muddy waters of the Mississippi and the complexities of the human heart. It's a story about love, redemption, and the bonds that tie us together, all set against the backdrop of a modern-day Western. Whether you're a fan of classic Westerns or just looking for a well-told, emotionally resonant story. Mud is worth your time. Moving on to another gem, let's dive into this fascinating story. Number 6, Sicario, 2015. You use me as bait. Now you use yourself as bait. This is a gripping and intense film that pulls you into the dark and dangerous world of the drug war along the U.S.-Mexican border. The story follows Kate Mercer, an FBI agent played by Emily Blunt, who is recruited into a special government task force aimed at taking down a brutal Mexican drug cartel. From the very beginning, Kate is thrown into a chaotic and morally ambiguous battle that challenges her sense of justice and humanity. The plot kicks off with a gruesome discovery in an Arizona safe house, leading to Kate's involvement with the enigmatic and shadowy task force led by Matt Graver, Josh Brolin, and the mysterious consultant Aleandro Gillick, Benicio del Toro. As Kate delves deeper into the operation, she realizes that the line between right and wrong is blurred, and the methods used to combat the cartel are just as ruthless and deadly as those of the criminals they are fighting. The tension ramps up with every scene, culminating in a series of intense and unforgettable confrontations. Sicario is more than just a modern crime thriller. It's a film that weaves in elements of the Western genre to create a unique and compelling narrative. The vast, desolate landscapes of the border regions, the themes of lawlessness and frontier justice, and the lone hero battling against overwhelming odds are all reminiscent of classic Westerns. However, instead of cowboys and outlaws, we have federal agents and drug lords, making it a contemporary take on age-old themes. Denis Villeneuve's direction is masterful, creating an atmosphere of constant tension and unease. The cinematography by Roger Deakins is stunning, capturing both the beauty and the brutality of the borderlands. 
Taylor Sheridan's script is sharp and thought-provoking, exploring the complexities of the drug war and the moral dilemmas faced by those on the front lines. The performances are top-notch, with Emily Blunt delivering a powerful portrayal of a woman grappling with her conscience, and Benicio Del Toro providing a chilling and enigmatic performance that steals the show. Sicaro received widespread critical acclaim and garnered several award nominations, including three Academy Award nominations for Best Cinematography, Best Original Score, and Best Sound Editing. It was praised for its intense atmosphere, strong performances, and its unflinching look at the harsh realities of the drug war. The film also helped to cement Taylor Sheridan's reputation as a significant voice in the neo-Western genre. Known for his ability to blend modern themes with classic storytelling elements. Sicario in the neo-Western genre lies in its ability to take traditional Western motifs and adapt them to a modern setting. It explores themes of justice, morality, and survival in a way that resonates with contemporary audiences while playing homage to the conventions of the Western genre. The film's success also paved the way for a sequel Sicario, Day of the Soldado, further expanding its impact and legacy. Sicario is a must-watch for anyone who appreciates a well-crafted, intense thriller that delves deep into the complexities of its subject matter. It's a film that will keep you on the edge of your seat, make you question the nature of justice, and leave you thinking long after the credits roll. And just when you think it can't get any better, here's another favorite, Number five, Hell or High Water, 2016. It's like a disease. Pass it from generation to generation. Hell or High Water, directed by David McKenzie and written by Taylor Sheridan, is a modern day Western that grips you from the first scene and never lets go. The story follows two brothers, Toby and Tanner Howard, played by Chris Pine and Ben Foster who embark on a series of bank robberies across the West Texas. Their motive isn't greed, but desperation. They need the money to save the family ranch from foreclosure. This sets the stage for a high-stakes cat-and-mouse game with a determined Texas Ranger, Marcus Hamilton, played by Jeff Bridges, who is hot on their trail. The plot of Hell or High Water is as tense and gripping as it gets. Toby, the more level-headed of the two brothers, is driven by a desire to provide a better future for the estranged sons. Tanner, on the other hand, is a wild card, a volatile ex-con who is fiercely loyal to his brother, but is a penchant for trouble. They plan to rob the branches of the very bank that is threatening to take their land, a poetic justice of sorts. As they carry out their heists, the film explores their complex relationship their motivations, and the socio-economic backdrop that has driven them to such extremes. One of the standout features of Hell or High Water is how it plays homage to classic westerns while addressing contemporary issues. The vast, sweeping landscapes of West Texas provide a timeless setting that echoes the open plains and rugged trains of old westerns. The film's themes of justice, survival, and rebellion against a corrupt system are as relevant today as they were in the days of the Wild West. Taylor Sheridan's script does a brilliant job of blending these elements, creating a narrative that feels both fresh and familiar. The film is also a poignant commentary on the struggles of rural America, where economic hardships and the predatory practices of financial institutions have left many people feeling desperate and disenfranchised. The Howard brothers' plight is a microcosm of a larger societal issue, making their story all the more compelling and relatable. It's this blend of personal drama and broader societal commentary that gives Hell or High Water its emotional depth and resonance. Critically, Hell or High Water was a resounding success. It received numerous accolades, including four Academy Award nominations, Best Picture, Best Supporting Actor for Jeff Bridges, Best Original Screenplay for Taylor Sheridan, and Best Film Editing. The performances were universally praised, with Chris Pine and Ben Foster delivering some of the best work of their careers. Jeff Bridges 
as the grizzled, almost retired Texas Ranger brought a mix of humor, weariness, and determination to his role, earning him a nomination for Best Supporting Actor. The film's reception wasn't just about the performances, though. Critics and audiences alike lauded it for its tight, suspenseful storytelling, its beautifully shot cinematography, and its evocative score by Nick Cave and Warren Ellis. The way it captured the essence of the modern American West, with all its beauty and desolation, struck a chord with viewers. Hell or High Water is more than just a heist movie or a thriller. It's a powerful neo-western that explores themes of family, loyalty, and the fight against injustice. It's a film that will make you think, make you feel, and keep you on the edge of your seat. Next up, we have a film that truly captures the essence of a modern western. Number 4. Brokeback Mountain 2005 Brokeback Mountain, directed by Ange Lee and starring Jake Gyllenhaal and Heath Ledger, is a groundbreaking film that redefined the western genre. The story centers around Ennis Del Mar, Ledger, and Jake Twist, Gyllenhaal, two young men who develop a deep and forbidden romance while working as ranch hands in the rugged, breathtaking landscapes of Wyoming. What starts as a summer job, herding sheep evolves into a complex, lifelong connection that challenges both men's notion of love, identity, and masculinity. The plot of Brokeback Mountain is both simple and profound. Ennis and Jack meet on Brokeback Mountain and unexpectedly fall in love. Over the years, they struggle to reconcile their love with the societal expectations and personal commitments that keep them apart. Their relationship is fraught with longing, secrecy, and heartache, making it a deeply moving exploration of forbidden love in a time and place where such a relationship was not only taboo, but dangerous. Ange Lee masterfully breaks the boundaries of the Western genre by focusing on a poignant love story rather than the usual themes of rugged individualism and frontier justice. The film's depiction of Ennis and Jack's relationship is tender and raw, capturing the intense emotions and the profound impact that love has on their lives. Ledger and Gyllenhaal deliver powerful performances, bringing depth and authenticity to their character struggles and desires. The cinematography in Brokeback Mountain is nothing short of stunning. Rodrigo Prieto's work captures the sweeping vistas and majestic beauty of the American West, juxtaposing the vast, open landscapes with the intimate and often suffocating emotional world of the characters. This visual contrast highlights the isolation and internal conflict that Ennis and Jack experience, making their story even more compelling. Brokeback Mountain had a significant impact. It challenged the conventions of the Western genre and opened up new conversations about sexuality and masculinity. The film received widespread critical acclaim and won numerous awards, including three Academy Awards for Best Director, Best Adapted Screenplay, and Best Original Score. It also became a cultural touchstone, sparking discussions about LGBTQ plus representation in mainstream cinema and paving the way for more inclusive storytelling in Hollywood. But the list doesn't stop there, folks. Check out this next recommendation. Number three. Wind River, 2017. So do you want to show me the body? I don't mean to be rude, I'm just freezing my ass up here, so. Directed by Taylor Sheridan, Wind River is a gripping neo-western that delves into the mysteries and harsh realities of life on a Native American reservation. The story follows Corey Lambert, Jeremy Renner, a veteran hunter who discovers the body of a young Native American woman in the snowy wilderness of the Wind River Reservation in Wyoming. FBI agent Jane Banner, Elizabeth Olson, is called in to investigate and together they unravel a web of violence and secrecy. The plot of Wind River is both a tense murder mystery and a poignant exploration of grief, justice and survival. Corey, who is dealing with his tragedy, helps Jane navigate the complexities of the reservation, where law enforcement is underfunded and stretched thin. Their investigation reveals the harsh realities faced by the Native American community, including issues of crime, poverty, and the lack of resources to address them. 
Wind River stands out for its strong character work and its exploration of untamed America. The film portrays the reservation as a place of both stark beauty and profound hardship, capturing the rugged terrain and the resilience of its inhabitants. Sheridan's direction and writing bring a sense of authenticity and respect to the story, highlighting the struggles and strengths of the Native American community. This film is also part of Taylor Sheridan's Modern Frontier trilogy, which includes Sicario and Hell or High Water. Each film in the trilogy explores different aspects of the American frontier and contemporary issues through the lens of the Western genre. Wind River continues this exploration, focusing on themes of justice and survival in a harsh and often unforgiving environment. Wind River received praise for its powerful storytelling, strong performances, and unflinching look at the issues faced by Native American communities. The film's atmospheric cinematography and haunting score add to its impact, making it a memorable and thought-provoking neo-western. Brokeback Mountain and Wind River are exemplary films that push the boundaries of the western genre, offering new perspectives and exploring complex themes with depth and sensitivity. They are must-watches for anyone interested in modern takes on the classic western. Ready for more? This next film is a perfect example of genre blending done right. Number 2. Logan, 2017 Logan, directed by James Mangold and starring Hugh Jackman, is a standout entry in the superhero genre, bringing a gritty, grounded feel that sets it apart from typical comic book movies. The plot centers on Logan, also known as Wolverine, as he escorts a young mutant girl named Laura to safety in a dystopian future where mutants are nearly extinct. Now older and weary, Logan is far from the unbeatable hero he once was. His healing abilities are failing, and he's struggling with a world that no longer resembles the one he fought to protect. The story starts with Logan hiding in a Mexican border, working as a limo driver to make ends meet while caring for an ailing Professor X. Their quiet existence is shattered when Laura, a young girl, with powers strikingly similar to Logan's, comes into their lives. She's being pursued by relentless mercenaries from a sinister corporation. Logan reluctantly takes on the mission to get Laura to a haven, leading to a cross-country journey fraught with danger and emotional reckonings. Logan is a superhero film with deep western roots. It's heavily inspired by classic westerns, particularly in its themes of redemption, sacrifice, and the rugged lawlessness frontier. James Mangold himself cited westerns like Shane and Unforgiven as major influences. The film's tone, setting, and even its cinematography evoke the spirit of these old westerns, making it feel more like a modern-day western than a traditional superhero movie. Logan's character arc is reminiscent of the lone gunslinger, a hero past his prime, seeking one last shot at redemption. The movie was both a critical and commercial success. It broke away from the typical superhero formula, offering a more mature, nuanced narrative that resonated with audiences and critics alike. Hugh Jackman's performance as Logan was widely praised as he brought a raw, emotional depth to the character. Logan was nominated for an Academy Award for Best Adapted Screenplay, a rarity for superhero films, highlighting its exceptional storytelling. The film also did well at the box office, grossing over $600 million worldwide, proving that audiences were hungry for a different kind of superhero story. But wait, there's another film that's a must-watch for any Western fan. Number 1. No Country for Old Men, 2007 12 gauge. You need shells? Yeah, double O. Directed by the Coen brothers, No Country for Old Men is a masterful blend of Western thriller and noir elements, creating a neo-Western classic that has a lasting impact on cinema. The plot follows Lewin Moss, a hunter who stumbles upon the aftermath of a drug deal gone wrong in the remote desert landscape of Texas. He finds a briefcase filled with $2 million and decides to take it, 
setting off a chain of events that leads to a relentless pursuit by a ruthless hitman named Anton Shigura. The story is a tense and gripping cat and mouse game. As Moss tries to stay one step ahead, Shigura, played chillingly by Javier Bardem, uses his twisted code of ethics to track him down. Meanwhile, Sheriff Ed Tom Bell, portrayed by Tommy Lee Jones, tries to make sense of the escalating violence and lawlessness. The film explores themes of fate, morality, and the changing nature of the world reflected in Bell's growing sense of disillusionment. No Country for Old Men stands out with its seamless blend of genres. It captures the stark, desolate beauty of the Western landscape while incorporating the tension and existential dread typical of noir and thriller genres. The Coen brothers' direction is meticulous, with every scene crafted to build suspense and deepen the narrative. The film's dialogue, much of it taken directly from Cormac McCarthy's novel, is sparse yet powerful, adding to the film's haunting atmosphere. The film was a critical darling and swept numerous awards, including four Academy Awards for Best Picture, Best Director, Best Adapted Screenplay, and Best Supporting Actor for Javier Bardem. Bardem's portrayal of Shigura, with his chilling demeanor and eerie calm, became iconic, earning him a well-deserved Oscar. The film's success solidified the Coen brothers' reputation as master storytellers and contributed significantly to the resurgence of the neo-Western genre. No Country for Old Men is more than just a thrilling chase. It's a profound meditation on the nature of violence and the passage of time. Its blend of Western motifs with modern sensibilities makes it a timeless piece that continues to influence filmmakers and captivate audiences. If you're a fan of intense, thought-provoking cinema, this film is a must-watch. So, grab some popcorn, settle in, and prepare for a journey into the dark heart of the American frontier. So, what are your thoughts on this? Let us know in the comments below.